Imagine, imagine that you walk into a classroom and in that classroom, every student feels safe, they feel respected, and they're excited to learn. That right there is the power of a positive learning environment. And in today's episode, we're gonna tackle that all important question that you'll get in an interview, which is how will you create a positive learning environment? This is the type of question that can showcase your skills and help you stand out to not only show that you are able to teach, but you're able to create a space where kids can thrive. So grab your pen and grab a piece of paper because we're gonna start this journey right now. Hey everybody, Dr. Gordon Amerson here, Superintendent of Schools and Gallup Certified Strengths Coach. And on this channel, we leverage my experience from classroom teacher to the office of superintendent to help you go further, faster in your educational journey. If this is your first time with us, welcome in. Thank you for being here. And don't forget while you're here to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you don't miss any cool updates or any of our latest episodes or content. The interview, the interview, the interview. A nerve wracking experience. But what we've been trying to convey through this series of the last several episodes is how do we take the interview and these questions that frequently come up and how do we give you some tools, give you some resources and give you some templates by which you can build a robust, really solid foundation for how you answer these questions. And so today's question is a critically important question. The question is, how will you foster a positive learning environment? If there is anything else that parents want for their kids is for them to be in a positive environment where they know that learning is happening, where they know that their students are going to be, they're gonna be challenged with thoughtful ideas, really tough questions to make them think, to make them be inquisitive, to make them to be curious about things. This is what every parent wants. This is what every principal wants for you to create in your classroom when they hire you. So I wanna help you think through what is it about this answer? What is it about taking this question and providing a strong answer that can make you stand out? But let's talk about what is, what's the impact of a positive environment? Well, this is an environment where students can be successful. This is an environment that is teeming with care and empathy and compassion. So if you're creating a positive environment, students are gonna gravitate to you. Your colleagues are gonna gravitate to you. You're gonna have this pull where people are gonna wanna be around you, wanna be in your classroom, gonna to wanna to learn from you, gonna to wanna to be able to ask you questions and spend time with you to pick your brain. These are the types of people we want to attract into our schools. And so as you think about preparing for your next interview, as you think about what do I need to prepare for? What type, of, what type of questions do I need to be ready to answer? This is a critically important question because every single principal wants somebody who wants to create a positive environment. That's what we want for kids. So let's tackle how we answer these questions. So again, as we've been laying this out over the last several weeks, this is about preparing and giving you some templated responses that get you going, that get you thinking, that get you preparing for how you'll personalize and make these responses your own. So we're gonna give you two sample responses for how you will create a positive learning environment and you can kind of play with these and see if these fit your needs. So let's start with sample response number one. So sample response number one could sound something like this. I believe that a positive learning environment begins with establishing trust and mutual respect. In my classroom, I focus on creating a space where every student feels valued and heard. I start by setting clear expectations and encouraging my students to contribute to the classroom rules, which fosters ownership and also accountability. Additionally, I celebrate diverse backgrounds and learning styles using materials and examples that resonate with all students. 
by incorporating group work and interactive discussions, I allow my students to collaborate and learn from each other, building that strong sense of community. Overall, my goal is to make the classroom a safe space where students are comfortable taking risk and most importantly, expressing themselves. So this sample response gets at all the different ways that you will create a space where your students can feel engaged, connected, whether working independently, whether working in groups, whether they are just setting expectations, whether you're setting expectations or setting expectations with them to create that sense of community, that buy-in, but all throughout this answer is all about that positive environment that you will be creating for your students. And as you think about how you take it to the next level, use this templated response and then make it your own. Think about your own experiences. Think about your own passions. Think about your talents. Think about your skills. Think about the things that naturally come to you. And then you build your response. You build your assets of how you'll respond to this question according to who you are and what skills you bring to the table. Because that's how you make these questions and these responses authentic, genuine, and your own, which is what will come through and make you shine in your next interview. So let's now talk about a sample response to the question, how will you create a positive learning environment? Let's give you a second example of a response that you could build off of. And that second response sounds a little something like this. To foster a positive learning environment, I prioritize relationships with my students from day one. I make an effort to learn about their interests, strengths, and any challenges that they might face. By showing a genuine interest in their lives, I create a sense of belonging and trust. Academically, I set up routines and structured activities that allow for collaborative learning while ensuring everyone understands the importance of respect and empathy. I also use flexible seating and varied instructional methods to accommodate different learning needs, making students feel that their unique ways of learning are valued. With this approach, I aim to build a classroom culture where students support each other and feel inspired to engage fully in their learning. So a slightly different response, but very powerful. When we talk about how do you build trust? How do you build relationships? How do you develop a space where there's high levels of empathy, where there's high levels of agency for students? And how do you respect the varied needs of all of your students? This positive learning environment is a game changer for every one of us. I lean in when asking this question because I really want to know how this will manifest itself in a person's classroom. If I'm going to hire them into our system, I want to know how they're creating that positive learning environment on a daily basis. How do you start off strong? How do you maintain it throughout the year? And then how do you build a community, a strong sense of connection across your classroom and across that school environment based on what you are creating in your room with your students, with your colleagues, et cetera. Thinking about the positive environments that we can create, the enduring responsibility of the classroom teacher, the enduring responsibility of the professional educator is to find ways to authentically engage, connect, and draw out of our students as much as possible. And the environment that we create for that exchange to happen is critically important. I cannot stress enough just how important it is to be able to articulate clearly during your interview how you'll do this. Because at the end of the day, our students learn best from people that they feel connected to, 
that they feel and they have a relationship with. And that is a direct connection and a direct correlation to the type of environment you create, how students feel when they walk in your room, how students feel when they engage and ask you a question. How do you respond? What are the systems and structures for students to be able to talk to one another? What are the rules of the road? What are the levels of accountability that we create for each other and with each other in the classroom? All of these things point to an environment where students will be able to be successful. And we want that for every single student. So as we think about how do we continue to build these skills and talents and attributes for excelling at the interview process, keep building those skills, keep checking out our other episodes that are these key questions, the key questions that you need to be ready for and be prepared for in your next interview. And if you want more information about how to prepare for that next interview, you can check out this next video right here. And as we think about kind of how we move forward, share with us and share with me in the comments below, like how will you, what's one thing you will do to create a positive learning environment for your students? How will you create that? One key idea, one key strategy, Share that with us in the comments below because we're going to continue to build all of these skills and attributes for this community. And the ideas that you share will certainly help others in our community. So share that with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to go to the pinned comment because the pinned comment, uh, I have a free gift for you. It is a blueprint that will help you prepare for that next interview. It's going to give you very, very specific strategies, very specific tools that you can use and frameworks that will help get you prepared for your next interview so you can stand out and stand above all the rest that you're interviewing with. So as we move forward, we want you to join this ranks of this school community. Our goal, 10,000 educators across the world, across the country, just wanting to educate and inspire kids. That's what the principal leader is all about. That's the work that this group does. We want to build that. It's who we are. It's our identity to create environments where kids can thrive and identifying the right leaders with the right head, heart, mindsets, beliefs that can do just that. So come along with us. Come along in this journey with us because there is a lot for us to do. There's a lot of work ahead. So if you want more information also on our weekly newsletter, mentoring, coaches, other resource, coaching, other resources, check the description below for more information. We want to serve you. We want to serve you well. We want to build and grow and learn from each other as well. So until we see you on our next episode, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next one. Be well, everyone. Thanks.